Good afternoon. Um, today we're going to have some fun. <laughs> this is my attention. This is going to be kind of a free flow Friday since it is a Friday broadcast. And I'm going to talk about some things regarding um, the idea of crushing it, which I have a whole agenda thing for, and also about what your heart is ready for next decade, because everyone's talking about that. Anyway, before I jump into all of that, let me introduce myself so you know why you might want to watch this and, and also more about me so you know why I do this. My name is Barry Selby, in case you haven't seen my broadcast before. I am, let me think what I am. Oh yes, I know I am. Yes, I'm, <laughs> I'm an inspirational speaker, spiritual guide, love and relationships expert, and the author of the best-selling book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, a book for singles and couples, men and women. I'm personally very biased, it's a good book. If you wanna get some principles for relationships, 50 of them in fact, you'll have a much better start for your next relationship. If you're already in one, it'll help you get a better one too, or be in a better one too, yes. Besides all that, I help women create balance in love, life, and business because I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine, which informs my work with women and also what started these talks almost three years ago, called Messages from the Masculine Inspiring Your Feminine Heart. So today's episode number is 869. Yes, I'm going to be hitting 900 before the end of the year, the way things are going. Well, easily, in fact. And the topic today is about, well, the way I titled it was on the frame the lines of... Um, the idea of crushing it this next quarter so you can start the next decade a whole new paradigm. I've seen a bunch of posts like this recently, maybe it's just me, but it's been really, I won't say jarring, but a little disturbing when people have got this thing about, well, you know, you've got to wrap up this next three months, the next two months, extremely effectively because you've got a whole new decade ahead of you. I don't know what the timing about this is about. I mean, I know some people like using these time positions as like leverage saying well it's another decade come up so let's start fresh let's get a new clean start let's have a clean slate and let's crush it and make it happen first of all i have an issue with the term crushing anything i mean maybe crushing cans after you drunk them so you can put them in the recycling but crushing goals crushing targets crushing anything like that no <laughs> simply no um if anything, I would say the best thing to do is celebrate these next steps, these goals, these wins, these things. So let's just get the word crush out of it for starters. The second thing I want to talk about, which is more of what the content of this is about, is is your heart ready for the next decade? And I'm using that as a reference to the timing that I was talking about, because again, this is the last three months of the last decade type thing. The next decade starts in January. Um, I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> but I want to talk about is your heart ready? Heart, is your heart ready for the future? Is your heart ready for next steps? Is your heart ready for tonight or tomorrow even? And I'm asking that question because frankly, many people, maybe not you, maybe it is you, but many people are caught up in this, this paradigm where they go through life ignoring their heart to be focused on the next thing to do, the next goal, the next achievement, the next relationship. And how do, I, uh, <laughs> how do I want to say this? I'm tempted to, like, no, I won't do that. As I said, this is a free flow Friday, so let's see how it goes. Um, my, my issue, my challenge, my concern is with the fact that so many people choose relationship without checking with their heart first. They think they do, and that's the problem. They think they do. Get my point? A lot of people choose relationship because they think it's the right one to be in. They choose relationship because they sense familiarity. They choose relationship oftentimes because their subconscious mind is driving them to do that. And that's a whole other conversation I've talked about many times before. I may, may reference it a little bit in this talk, but I want to really get, clear, get to the point where you get clear that to really choose a healthy relationship starts with your heart. And yes, I know that sounds rather simplistic, and I know it sounds rather... Um, what's the word I want to use? People have this thing that they, they sort of talk about, you know, matters of the heart are so tender, so nice. And it's like, I'm a guy talking about this, so I know it may sound a little bit discordant, but I'm really clear about this because my, having had several brands over the years, including the Heartbreak Repair Specialist, um, the Love Doctor and a few other titles, I'm very clear that the heart is where, the heart is where it's at, metaphorically speaking. And when you make your choices about relationship, actually, when you make choices about a lot of things, not choosing from your heart is a mistake. To make decisions where you're not choosing from the most important organ in your body and the most intelligent organ in your body, by the way, there's a whole lot of research about how your heart is more intelligent. If you ever study heart math, there's a lot more intelligence residing in your heart than what's above the neck. So just to be aware of that. So making choices that are heart-driven 
making choices that are heart motivated, making heart making decisions that are heart centered, is my recommendation for every area of life, and especially in your romance and love aspects too. Now, I said a lot of people make decisions from their head, from their mind, from their brain. They think about relationships, and you may say, "Well, I don't do that." Well, have you ju judged your partnership based upon what that person looks like? Based on how good they are in bed, based on what car they drive, based on how, how you look together. All of that is mental, <laughs> more than one way. But it's very much centered in your brain because it's not about your heart. Your heart doesn't have a gauge on what somebody looks like. Here's a clue. Your heart makes decisions about what somebody feels like. And that's a whole different thing. But a lot of people choose relationship. Hmm. I was going to say a lot of men choose relationship this way, but I'm not going to say that's only men because women do this too. I've seen it. I've witnessed it many times where a woman will choose a man based upon his prestige, his appearance, his look in life, which sometimes is an illusion and oftentimes is not enough. Rather than choosing from their heart to find a partner that they really feel loved by, supported by, served by, inspired by, and taken care of by. All of those things, by the way, should be on your list if you don't have a list already. Men oftentimes do choose relationship by how a woman looks, but that's because we are visually stimulated. It's one of the things we deal with in relationship. Men and women have these different access points. And truly, to be, truth be told, women normally, and I use normally in this context, are attracted to a man by how he makes them feel. However, as I said just now, a lot of women are driven visually by what they see and what they think they're going to get from this person. And it's largely because, here we go, with here, okay, <laughs> I need stuff drops in, about how women have been trained for the last 30, 40 years to be like men. And I talked about this yesterday or the day before, so please watch my previous broadcast, and I'll tell you when you find this at the end of the broadcast, by the way, about how the business world was created by men for men and women have been trying to fit in ever since. And since the 60s, especially, since the sexual revolution and the women's liberation movement and all that transformation that happened, women have gone to work and basically and basically fit into the business world like men. So it makes a whole lot of sense that their dating choices would parallel what, excuse me, their, their dating um, methodology, it's a better word. Dating methodology is very parallel to what men's is, what men's dating methods are. And so ladies, what you've been trained to do is copy the men. In fact, what you've done, learned to do is to be a hunter like men, which is why a lot of relationships sometimes become conflicted energies because they're both hunting each other. Not always healthy. And definitely, oftentimes, women have hunted the man. I've been there, the receiver of that. It's, 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 it's fun to a degree, and it's sometimes very ego-stroking, but it's not necessarily healthy. Even though I loved every moment of it until it went wrong, I'm very clearly looking back in hindsight, not a good choice. So that's a word to the wise, by the way. So ladies, let the man do the hunting, let the man court, let the man pursue, but be invitational, be clear so that he knows that, he's, that he deserves to pursue you. I, I yeah, I'm gonna leave that one alone. <laughs> leave that one where it is. I just drop the one in your lap and I'm walking away from that one. So let me drop some other things in your lap. And I'm gonna speak to the ladies particularly because you're my main audience. And when men who watch this, I appreciate that too. But as you, if you watch my broadcast before, you know this is always tailored towards women because more women watch than men do. And that's one of the blessings and also one of the curses. Because I know some of these talks should be for men too because men don't always get the information they need to be able to do a better job in the world of loving, of relationship, of being heartfelt. But maybe I'll get some side effects from this talk. So ladies, first of all, shedding your mindset that's been put on because you copied the men and like shedding it, putting it down when it comes to dating and relating and romance is the first step you must take if you want a healthy relationship. The second part is to retune into your heart, to really connect back to that source inside that is your best um, guidance system, your own GPS, which I've mentioned before. And that's a powerful place to be because it puts you in a place of really understanding who you are and what you want. And that is simplistic in a way, but it's the powerful truth that lines up for everything you want to have in life. So I'm, I'm already thinking about things I need to provide in the comments after, so I'll put some links in the comments for you at the end of this that will help you out with all of this stuff. 
So having clarity about what you want is key. And as I said at the beginning, it isn't about up here in your mind thinking about what you want. It's in your heart where you can feel what you want. Now men can do this too. We can be resonant in the place of feeling, although most men, as I mentioned earlier, are visually driven. That's the way we function because we are hunters. We seek by sight. So when we're looking for dates is why we look at women and see them as possible mates versus feeling them that way. But ladies, you have this gift when you remember it, when you tune back into it, because it's always in there, is to feel from your heart what you want in a relationship. If you do that much alone, if you take that one piece and change it around so you start feeling versus thinking, ladies, you'll have much more joy, much more success, much more film in your relationships. And I might leave it like that. I'm not even sure I want to give you any more because that alone is a powerful step. In fact, if you take that piece to heart, no pun intended, your life will change. You know what? I'm going to leave it like that. That, that, was, that was the point I want to make. Ultimately, ladies, trust your heart. Ladies, listen to your heart. Ladies, get out of your head, get into your heart, and let that lead you where you want to go. Now, I will put some links in the comments, as I mentioned, because for many ladies, their heart's been wounded so many times that they're not sure they can trust it. And that's one reason why a lot of ladies have gone to the, the focus on the head to focus on what they want versus trusting the heart, because they've been wounded and been hurt. So ladies, if this is one of you, I will provide you a link where you can have a chat with me. One of my gifts in my coaching is holding a safe space and an intimate space for my clients to feel they can trust again, that they can own up to their heart's wounds and heal them once and for all, so they can love fully from their own heart to themselves and then trust themselves going out in the world. So I'll put a link in the comments for a discovery session with me, a chat, conversation, my gift to you. So that's primary focus, so we can talk. Second one is um, to rebuild that support for yourself. It's got to come back to loving yourself. I mean, simple as it sounds, but loving yourself is the way through. I'll put a link in the comments for my self-love guided meditation because that's also resonant for this message and it will help you. Um, thirdly, I will put also in the comments, once you've healed your heart, then it's time to learn the steps to attract what you want. So I will put a link in the comments to my Attract the Man You Want program. I'm, I'm, I'm throwing links at you, I know, but the thing about this is if you're in this position where you feel ready for this, these will help you every step of the way. So again, conversation with me, my self-love guided meditation, the Attract the Man You Want course is an online course with coaching if you want it, and I put the book in there as well. So my book will be in the links as well because all four things will help you. I, I, this is my focus, this is my work, this is my mission, and you can pick and choose what you want, or all of them if you choose. But again, the simple lesson, ladies, is remembering that your heart leads, but also healing it so you can lead fully is the core to having the best love of your life. There's more to talk about, but that'll do for this talk. I hope this makes sense to you. This is my daily Facebook Live, by the way. If you haven't seen my talks before, I do this every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time, right here on my personal page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby. If you aren't already following me, please do. Um, and there's a place somewhere in the broadcast where you can click on the three dots to be, to not be notified when I go live next time, which will be tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific time, every day, seven days a week, by the way, so I'll see you then. Um, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, you're going to watch the replays. There are two places you can find them. Um, one of them is on my business page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby, the author. Please like my page, and you can peruse them there, although not all of them are there. For some reason, Facebook's got a issue with posting every broadcast. Having done 800-plus broadcasts, I guess it doesn't have room for them. Um, on my page at least. So my YouTube channel has all of them. I've made sure I backed them up. So on my YouTube channel, you'll find all my broadcasts. So if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby on YouTube, um, which is youtube.com slash user slash Barry Selby, you can find on there a playlist called Messages for the Masculine. So please subscribe and watch those, those broadcasts there. Um, you can comment either place, Facebook or on YouTube. If you want to get help, you can message me or click on the links I'm gonna provide so you can really get the help you desire, the help you need, the help you want. It's time to learn to love from a safe place, from a whole place, from a healthy place. And that's my gift, my service, my work that I serve you with. So don't waste any more time thinking about it, because that's up here. Feel if this is true for you. If it is, take some action. I thank you for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow, same time, same channel. Um, not sure what topic will be. That's always a fresh start every day. And I thank you for being with me. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.